everybody. So we are getting ready to, it's always noisy. We are getting ready to do one of my favorite summertime activities is we are picking wild blackberries today. So super excited about that. I've got our lunch packed. I've got waters packed because well, it's going to be hot y'all. <laughs> and um, if all goes well. So we're going to a place that we just know where wild blackberries grow. Yes, baby. Yes. You want to go outside? Okay, we're about to go. Yes. You want to go? You want to go outside? Okay. Where's your shoes? Shoes. Yep, let's go find them. If it goes well and we're not too hot already. I know, baby. I know. We'll be back. Okay, so what I was trying to say was I will just talk to y'all as I put the waters in our cooler bag is if we're not too hot, we're gonna go by our property as well. And cause I know that there's wild blackberries out there and see, you know, if those are ripe. I don't know, I'm just curious. Yep, yeah, and see how the sunflowers are doing. So not 100% sure that we will make it out there, but you know, the kids might be too hot at that point. But that is the plan. So we've got our water, we've got our lunch snacky bag, lots of fruit, cucumbers. Um, we can just carry that. You don't have to put it in the bag. Thank you. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs. I'm tired of this. And I want to tell you straight just like it is. Was it fun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are back from picking wild blackberries and we got a good bit, but the kids ate them all. <laughs> I was hoping to have enough to like make a cobbler or something out of them, but they ate them all and you just couldn't stop them. Kinley and Camden were just like, had handfuls of them and just the juice dripping down their face. They absolutely loved them. So we did end up going by the property and I did see blackberry plants, but not a lot of berries. Like in what berries I did see were red. So I'm assuming, you know, like we actually saw a lot of evidence of deer. So I'm assuming, you know, deers and bunnies are getting to them, which is perfectly fine. I was just hoping to see some. Um, we did the one bush that I kind of saved up against the fence has a lot of red berries on it. So maybe we'll go back in a week or two and see if they ripen. Figured I'd give y'all a little garden update. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is so exciting. We've got so many tomatoes. Look at that. It is just so pretty. There's a whole other cluster down there. I just love it. Hopefully y'all like seeing tomato plants. <laughs> this is a Cherokee purple. Look at all of those. So much fun. And we've got our first blushing tomato. We got some more cucumbers coming in. This one's ready. Got some little ones. These are silver slicers. And those are probably ready. I've got one more down here. There we go. That's probably ready too. So summer weather is definitely here. It was hot while we were out doing the blackberries. <laughs> the kids obviously were begging me to go swimming as soon as we got home. So we got our chores done, cleaned out the van, and then I was like, yes, we can spend the rest of the afternoon in the pool. So I'm just gonna end up doing something quick for dinner. And the older kids actually have a worship night. 
at church. If y'all can even hear me, it's loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to be poolside for a little while. If y'all have not tried these true fruit raspberries, you need to. You are missing out. These are so good. I've had the strawberries and they're pretty good. I prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate. And I think I got milk chocolate strawberries before. Anyways, these are really good. And the strawberries are a little harder to eat because they're bigger. And these are just, they're just perfect. They're so good. Happy Saturday morning, y'all. So we're just going to continue this vlog on over through the weekend. And I'm making breakfast. I've got bacon here. I actually have more in the oven. And then some biscuits. And I'm going to scramble up some eggs and just have a nice breakfast this morning we kind of don't really have any set plans today I'm just gonna I do have grocery pickup order I was gonna forget that I have a grocery pickup order at 11 and then we are just gonna veg probably end up swimming at some point I'm sure um, but just kind of having a nice Saturday all right we decided to run into a thrift store before grocery pickup let's see if we can find anything today I like to look through the dishes. Those are sweet. Back home from grocery pickup, gonna show you real quick what we got. Kind of just a fill-in haul. Um, and at Goodwill, we did not get much. Addie found a swimsuit cover that was actually pretty cute. So that's the only thing that we got. Okay, so starting with onions, I got red onions and a yellow onion. This isn't very organized. We got, I think I ordered eight cans of pinto beans. We were all out. Got some blueberries, Greek yogurt, mac and cheese, avocado. What I got some more chocolate chips, bananas. We got wavy chips just for snack reasons because they are oh so good. Uh, chicken biscuit crackers, regular apples, um, pink lady and gala and Logan, Addison, Kinley, and Harper, I think, ate an apple on the way home. So that's why that bag is half empty. A key lime pie. The kids are asking, what's the pie for? Tomorrow's Mother's Day, and I just thought it would be good. Um, I got almond milk, Rice Krispies, Honey Nut Cheerios, Chocolate Cheerios, regular Tostito chips, kettle, barbecue chips, those are for me, and A2 milk, ricotta cheese for a meal, whole milk, three gallons of that, two things of jelly, pie crust because I'm actually going to make a quiche. We needed some more little kid shampoo, three 18 count eggs. We needed an eyelash curler and some sausage for that quiche that I'm going to make. Okay, we got to get that stuff put up and I think we're going to be a little bit crazy and spontaneous and we are going to go to the beach. Okay, that was a little hectic. Got things a little bit more in order. Just a little, not a lot. Don't be impressed. <laughs> so we are on a whim, yes, heading to the beach. My aunt was like, hey, do you want to go? Yep, so we are going to load up and go. Just like I said, we didn't really have any plans today, so it's going to be fun, huh? Yeah. All the kids thought it sounded like fun, so that is what say. Housework can always happen, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to get sunburn again. Yeah, no, we're going to do good with sunscreen. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to load up and go make some memories. Well, I am a horrible vlogger, <laughs> so before I closed out this video, I wanted to say a happy Mother's Day to all of you. So we did go to the beach on Saturday, and then we came home, like, I did not pick up the camera, you know, had to make dinner and all that stuff, and then Sunday is obviously Mother's Day, and we went to church and just enjoyed our day as a family. It was a very nice day. We went to the beach again. The kids really wanted to go back again and have Nathan with us. It's you know, it's just fun when we all get to do, you know, something like that when Nathan's off from work. So, and I actually, I had planned on vlogging it all, but I just didn't pick up the camera. So, I also wanted to say a huge thank you. Many of you guys messaged me or commented Happy Mother's Day to me, and that just blesses me so much. Thank you, and I hope that you all had a fabulous Mother's Day. Most importantly, was just able to spend it with your family. Um, and now we are to today, which is Monday. Nathan, today is Nathan's day off, and we have just 
been really, I mean, just cleaning up and getting some stuff in order because we had a busy weekend. <laughs> um, and just our normal daily stuff and just kind of edging this afternoon. So I wanted to make sure that I close out this video. Say a happy Mother's Day to you guys. I hope that you all are doing well. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next video. Like it is, and open my heart like your face.